Hello, blessed good morning to you and your family. I hope that your week is going exceptionally well and I pray God's grace and peace upon all of us. So far, we have covered two Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit and blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted and the poor in spirit shall inherit the earth. Now we're going to go into the third attitude, Beatitude, yes, attitude that we should have. And that's taken from verse 5 of Matthew chapter 5. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Simple way to put meekness is humility. Those who are humble. Jesus Christ, even though he possessed all the power, he was man, but he was still God, having the ability to call angels and all of that. He humbled himself. He was meek. He demonstrated meekness. And our meekness ought to be before the Father first. Humbling ourselves before God, giving in to his will, yielding to his instructions, and obeying him humbly. And that humility will now transcend into our relationships between each other. So it's a vertical humility first that spills over to a horizontal humility. And as Jesus Christ as our example demonstrated that humility when we read the word and we study him we too can learn how to be humble we are to have the mind of christ and when we have the mind of christ we will produce humility before god and humility before others it's about putting others before yourself it's about helping others without looking for that reward or that pomp or that that fanfare or anything it is about just simply and and very meekly and humbly going through life in a way that is of a benefit to others and ultimately a benefit to yourself as well. But it starts by humbling ourselves before God, accepting his will. Sometimes it may not be pleasant, it may not be good, but we, uh, we humbly accept the path that he's taken us on, trusting him and obeying him, knowing that he, God, will reward. And the reward for this particular one, it says, for they shall inherit the earth. God has allotted already things for us to do, things for us to possess. And those things that we possess in the earth is to enable us to fulfill our purpose. We are not saying here that when we are humble, that we're going to start to get things that God did not already plan to give us. God had already planned to give us these things and bless us with these things and award us these things in the earth, but we have to align ourselves in order to receive it. So don't you fret yourself when people are coming up against you and seeming to take from you what is rightfully yours. Remain humble. Do not fight. Do not quarrel. Do not fret. Submit yourself to God. Humble yourself to God. Pray to him. Trust him and watch him give you what belongs to you, what he has already predestined that you should have in the earth. So here we have it, number three. Blessed are the meek, blessed are the humble, for they shall inherit the earth. You shall inherit those things that has already been allotted to you by your heavenly father. Have a wonderful day.